Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, part 2 of session 35. It is the 24th of January 2020. I'm Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Caleb. I play Lord Eric Gray with the Human Sorcerer. Hello, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the Half Elf Druid. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing Crombar, the Half Orc Paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Amastasia, a Wood Elf. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach at Half Elf Monk. Perfect. And I think we're all just sitting having some food. So, during a short rest, if anything recharges on a short rest, you can recharge it. And anyone that wants to roll hit die can. And if you want to do that, you can talk me through it and we'll do it individually. <laughs> so we don't all get confused. I would like to roll Yeah, let's start with you then. Yep. So how many do you have left at the moment? Five. Cool. Do you want to just how many like we can roll them in individually? So I'm rolling them individually, yeah. let's see. Four. Another one. Oh nice. Six. We should probably go and I get half them back. Half the total back. You get don't I? half rounded down total, uh, back on a long rest, yeah. So you get two back on a long rest at the moment. Oh, nice again. 14. Right, cool. I'll leave it at that. Yeah, what's you? What are you on health-wise? 33. I'm on 9, so that's 33. Oh, okay. on. Sorry. 6. Aye. Uh, 10. 16. I was going to say, you, you got 16 back. 25. Yep. Cool. Cool. And what's that out of? 25 out of? I don't know. I can't even do some for a <laughs> right, There we go. Yeah, it's 25. Right, cool. Uh, I get. I've got five in total. I had five in total. No, I don't mean. Hit, I mean hit points, just in general. Uh, Twenty-five in total out of thirty-eight. That's not too bad, yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Who wants to go next? You can take a hit. Um. It's only I'd... if you want to heal using hit dice. You don't need to. It's just that you can in a short rest. So. Yeah, I don't really need. That's okay. Nobody else. No. All good. Mm -hmm. I think I'd like to use some of mine. Yeah. Feel free to... So do I just press the button? Just press hit dice, yep. And you just need to press it once, because you can do them when I'm nicely done. So that gives me nine health. Why is everybody rolling d4s? Health. That's interesting. I don't know, because mine says d4. That's why I was like, oh shit, this, this kind of sucks. That is so interesting. Give me a second. Let me go and just load this up. Because I was thinking that's weak, because in my other characters it's either a D8 or a D. No, for some reason they've all changed. I, I need you to all go look at your classes, right? So everybody go look at your classes, find out what your hit dice is, and we'll do this again. Yay! Still get the maximums when I, for those ones that did. If you want to take those instead of rerolling, sure. Not a reroll, but like four out of four, so that's like hundred percent of the dice. <laughs> no, what I mean is the the two sixes and the four. Like if you just want to keep those, that's fine. Yeah. Um, well, I'm on plus five. Yeah, mine's one d six. What? Right. So does everyone want to click on the the die and change it to the type you should be, and it will be on your class. Ah, oh, okay. So you just click on the d four, and yeah, there's a drop down menu. That should have auto yeah, filled, so but the sheet has been updated level. since. So. Yeah, so yours is a D8 instead. So change yours to a D8, Adri. Mm -hmm. And then everything else, obviously, adjust. I have no idea. I'm totally lost. So you need to go to your rogue D8. page, the class page in the book, or look up yeah. what a rogue is on the compendium. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, but I don't know where I'm supposed to be looking on it. Right, right down the bottom attributes. So my hit dice should be 1D10. I'll get oh, it just wait, a moment. Per Kitty. level? Yeah, that's fine. Sophie. Yeah, mine's 1d8. It's on 9. That is no. So, what am yeah. I meant to be changing? Exactly. It's on your character. Where it page says below temporary hit dice d8. You, the, when you hover over d, uh, d4, oh. sorry. When you hover over d4, you can change it to a d6 or d8 or whatever. Click on the d. Hit dice, then it's black. Ah, oh, right. Click on the d. Yeah. If you, if you click on the d4, you can change it to something else. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, what should mine be D eight? No, you need to look that up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm on your page, I'm on the rogue page. 
So it's one d8 per rogue that all. Yeah. Perfect. Do notice. Does anybody else need me to look while I'm? Man what? looks like a, a scared face. <laughs> no. Does Sophie know where to find that information for next time if it ever messes up? Oh, okay. Yeah, I just didn't have a clue what we was on about. Like, Perfect. that's okay. Yep, cool. Do you know now though? Because like, me, when you say D four, I go on the dice in the top corner yep. and like find D four there. I'm like, what are you on about? That's okay. That makes sense. I'm on on the same page. Uh, right? Has everyone set their hit die to what it should be? Maybe. Yes. Yeah. What do you mean maybe? Why is everyone rolling so many? Because uh, for reasons unknown. We're so, healing ourselves. Oh no, I was I, I pressed the wrong bit of it. You're so, still D4 there, uh, Crumba. No, I've changed it now. It should be. Right. So, uh, Reach, you seem to have rolled three more times. What's happening? I was being rolled my three more times, and I got the exact same score. I was going to say, I thought you were keeping <laughs> your, your original numbers anyway. I know the dice have made it happen, uh, but. <laughs> I was saying if we get the 100%. So, roll 200% and one. Four out of six percent, whatever that is. I don't know what any of that means, but okay. Uh, so long as I rolled maximum tough. twice. If I could have got the two maximums, I was wanting that. Okay. I don't know what that means, but that's fine. We'll move on. Uh, it'd have been two eights and move a Ah, right. Now I get you now. Yeah. yeah five, cool. Right. So if you rolled max, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But you don't really get to pick that. But it doesn't matter because you've rolled it three times anyway. Arya, you have a lot of rolls here. Did you roll all five hit dice? I I'd, I'd rolled with d4, and then I re when you said that it's... And you're only rolling rolled. two new ones, yeah? yeah? Yeah, I've only rolled two, and that gave me like most of my health yeah, back, so fine. I'm just saving the other three just in case. Perfect, just as I can track this, because dear god, this is a mess. I know, um, and nobody else wants messy. to use hit dice to heal, no? No, I'm good. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to, I'll just use a potion. I was going to say, yeah. you also get half of these back on a long rest anyway, so these recharge. It's like your natural ability to recover. Well, let me just double check something. Um, There's no point yeah, in me. Yeah, I'm going to use two. So you're using a healing potion then, Kitty? Yeah. Cool. Yep. Nice roll, Scott. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is my max HP? Mm, twelve. Yeah, I'll do two, two. Not bad. And how do I math? Yeah, that's me at thirty-five. So that'll be. Oh, do me noise. Nice to done. Uh, is everybody else recharged? Whatever else they get on a short rest as well. You don't get a lot. As a sorcerer, you give very little because you're very good in general. <laughs> mm. uh, I think you get all your key back, don't you, Stu? Yes, I do. Cool. And I don't think druids get anything. And I don't know about paladins. I think we spoke about this before many times, but I don't think paladins. I think. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying channel, to. Channel Divinity? Do you get that back, maybe? Yeah, it's my Channel Divinities I get back. Cool. Because I think I remember Reach saying that. It last should say time. on your red text ability. It should say in there if you get it back or not. In theory. Boop, 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 well, boop, we'll find boop. out. We can do with it later. Uh, yeah, so you're all just sitting having a meal. Does MD conversate at all? Uh, I, you, I was going to say, yeah, I assume you'd all joined in, yeah, and stuffed your face. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Stuff my face. Just, no, so... no, really, I'm good. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to just kick back and play some music. Yeah, and I think as you do that, like the, like, bang, he just joins in as well, but he very quickly, like, downs his mead, wipes his face, and then brings out his, his flute, his plays to the side, and he uh, starts playing a wee tune. Yeah. Everybody feels mellow. <laughs> uh, herbo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think the the dwarf one is probably is just puffing away in a pipe, not saying much, not eating much, just kind of sat there, puffing away. And then Andromeda's been speaking with the other people, uh, like the the other night, and the like the kind of <laughs> what's left of the men. And they've piled up at the bodies, and they've set them on fire. 
toasty. Yeah. So That's burnt, gonna smell so bad. They burn the dead. It's um no it doesn't take a long period of time. It's done very, very, very fast. Like almost like a ritual. You know, as if also because, you know, I, I helped with like, you know or one of them. Actually an immensely strong fire right next to us as well. Nice. Yeah, but throwing in like a dead body that was a good person, right? For lack of a better D and D term, into a a hell pit seems kind of cruel, right? Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, it's efficient, but like, like, like monk. <laughs> you don't know what that <laughs> did. Yeah, like what would that do to someone's soul? So, mm. yeah. Let's not get into that just now, though. That could be a a conversation for a campfire another day. Um, but yeah, so they have that conversation. They flash fire the bodies away. Um, they obviously exchange some words that are out of your shot and then she walks back to the like in a feast and then she just kind of laughs and she kind of kicks bang in the back a little just a tiny bit and she says I see you started without me and then he kind of stops playing his flute because he hits like a, a sharp note on it and then he turns around he's like there's still plenty left and he just like pulls more sh- like plates out of his bag just puts more stuff out just piles it on top of like half eaten dishes. You had that from Crumber. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Crumber did well to not just be sucked in by the bag, quite frankly, with his, his amazing <laughs> crit on his uh, <laughs> concave. Um, and she kind of sits down and she starts eating. Um, she like picks up I don't know, like a leg of chicken or something and just like starts turning into it. And then as she's doing that, she says, So, we're going to head south east and she just looks straight at Crumbar and reach the three of us i'll pipe in and say do you know of any other such places there and she'd like darts you a look and then she looks back at Crumbar and reach and she says very slowly and deliberately we will be making our way to the citadel If you would like to accompany us on our travels, my men are returning back to the capital. They could escort you before they part ways if you are travelling elsewhere. Mm. And she just kind of leaves that kind of hanging. I kind of want to stay here and then get Distoria back with the brace, the yeah. Aries bracelet. I'm assuming you're saying this out of character, Crumbar. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, that's why. And that's yeah. Just, just to let everybody know, I'm glaring at this woman because she's totally ignored me. She she hasn't specifically no, ignored not you. Not in the you know, yeah, not in the you know, I want to kick her ass, but but just in the. She did acknowledge that you spoke. Me. No, she acknowledged she well, spoke. It's yeah. just she was in the middle of speaking. <laughs> Lord Derek, I presume you want to go back to Glitterhagen anyway. So I'm a woman of the woods. <laughs> yeah, you can take it as like I'm a territory. Supposed to have manners. Why would I need to go back to Glitterhagen? It's not like my house is there oh. anymore. Yeah, okay, that's got rid of our excuse for going the exact opposite direction. <laughs> no, we can beat her there. It's fine. Because you can beat me where? Why would you need to beat me anywhere? Just because we're faster and better. And then, like, I think the three companions just, like, do that slow look at each other where they all, like, because she's in the middle, like, keels at one side of the picnic blanket, bangs at the other side, these are all scattered in the middle. And then um, she looks over them. He just puffs away in his pipe, keel does, and uh, bangs kind of still stuff in his face. And she looks up and goes, we are not your enemy. You don't need to beat us anywhere. There is no competition here, Lord Eric Greenwood. No, but you work for someone I dislike right now, so therefore... Ah, so I'm for the gallows. I see. Let's keep eating. <laughs> is the sentiment shared amongst the party? And she looks around every day. No, no. <laughs> but I, I'll, I'll just, I'll just speak up and say, I have no quarrel with the king. Uh, it's not but... the king he's trying to hang. It seems. 
And she just smirks mm. at you, Eric. Well, I have no quarrel with you either. Those but who I can work understand for... my friend's mistrust. Those who work for the king can't be trusted. And she's just like she smirks little, like she's holding her kind of smirk on her face and then she says, um Aren't you a lord under his rule? And then she just goes back to Crumbar and she says If your lord won't be joining us, you are still welcome on the journey. As is he, of course. If he gets over his pride. <laughs> The offer is appreciated, but I think we should stay here just now. She looks over her shoulder back at the big, huge infernal binder, and she says, Oh, of course. And kind of just widens her eyes and then just tears into her kind of chicken leg again. Mm -hmm. And then, bang, kind of coughs a bit, like he's been inhaling food. And, uh, goes, and he's like pointing his flute accusatorily in the direction of everybody kind of waving at him because so what are you going to do here and he kind of just looks at you confused like no, nothing of your business foam in his beard <laughs> don't be like that lord we'll, we're just going to make sure nothing else comes out of this thing alive they don't need to know anything secrets and he just kind of like rocks slightly back and then before he falls over like Writes himself again. No secrets. Just, don't just being you. cautious. And there's just a the silence and the puff from the pipe. Anyone else say anything to break the awkward silence, or is it? No, I'm just, just sort of sat there, like just eating the food, staring into the little fire that's there, just. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, I like to believe that in the anime where everybody stares at each other intensely, there's just you slightly blurred out in the background where you're actually just reaching <laughs> under people and taking food plates. <laughs> like, reaching into the bag of unknown depth to like bring more food out, like, I need... You could try. <laughs> <laughs> what am I rolling? <laughs> A deck save? This is where I actually just get sucked into the thing. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. So, you go to like reach in while they're all kind of like having their heated moment, and a uh, something in the bag touches your hand as you reach in, and with your well, crit, I've... you can pull your hand back in time. And I don't mean just time travel, but you can pull it back <laughs> in time before it would grip you. It is slightly wet and leathery <laughs> that is the could feeling could I grab it out the bag? Oh, sorry? could I grab it and pull it out the bag? I, you can choose to not pull your hand out in time yeah let's go for that let's see let's have some oh, adventure yeah cool so you're <laughs> choosing to fail your dex and this is how <laughs> Kitty lost her finger so but it's, it's okay because then she gets a hidden blade. So, nope. Assassin's Creed to shoot. <laughs> so, yes, she reaches into the bag, something wet and leathery wraps around your wrist, and pulls you into the bag. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bag burps. <laughs> you're Have now, I died? You are now considered suffocating. Oh no. Oh, yep. what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> so, at that here I thought here I thought we were gonna have Kitty's adventures in Bagland, but we are. <laughs> it's just really really <laughs> less adventurous than you thought. <laughs> wow. Mostly it involves suffocating. Uh, Is this bag a mimic? No, it's just maybe full of stuff you don't want to be in with. To be honest, yeah. Do we notice this? Uh, I mean, yeah, because he immediately like turns around. Because remember the bag burped. Um, so he like immediately turns around and just yeah dives in after her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, awesome. And then Eric, the bag just I starts stand. to like the bag just starts to like rock back and forth and like fall over and like start to roll around. 
As if there was something in it. <laughs> yeah. As if? As if something was in it, yeah. No, Kitty. Can we jump in after? Hey, not just no. Kitty, can you roll me a con save? Cool. You're going to take half of this. Wait, hang on a sec. I've clicked on the wrong thing. Oh, that's constitution, yeah. You need a roll con save. Cool. You're still going to take half, Slowly. don't worry. <laughs> There's damage, yeah? It will be. Let me see. Right. So that's what? Nine you'll take? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm still fine with this. This was funny. Good thing we've just, yeah. uh, you know. Um, you also can't see anything, by the way. Upped our health. So. Well, no, I would imagine he's got lights lit up in his bag. It'd be yeah, too remember, handy. Remember, you can see in the dark, though. Oh. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. It's dark. Yeah. Penta dark. And then. Um, yeah, you just. You feel. Hundreds of writhing, wet, leathery things just swarm all over you and slowly, like... I, want, I don't want to use the term hug, because it's more like compress. <laughs> yeah, like you. a bow constrictor kind of thing. Yeah, only it doesn't necessarily feel like it's one thing. Yeah, just it definitely many feels like things. lots of them. As if like loads of slugs or leeches were going all over you, that type of creepiness. Yeah. Lovely. And, yeah, and... um then you start to hear some really, really weird noises. Um, huh. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a good, like, modern day comparison to what it would be. And I guess the best thing to explain would be like, see when you put a microphone near a speaker it's attached to? Yeah. You get, like, some really weird distortions. Like... Yeah. Mm. Like that. And all of a sudden they all, like, pop off of you, if you will. You're immediately able to breathe again. Um, yeah. and you get ejected from the bag and you probably hit whoever was heading to the bag which I think was either Eric or Crumber so which <laughs> one of yours was heading towards the bag because you're about to be hit by Kay <laughs> I was going to head toward the bag I was getting ready to uh, shoot lightning ah. at people Okay. I would I would have probably headed towards the bag yeah so like do I just catch Kitty or bat her out the way yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll catch. I'll catch me a kitty. Yeah. So like, kitty gets like volleyed into like your arms very ungracefully, um, and then That's anyone me. out of the bag, you just see like bang, like little hands come out and like just slowly pull himself out of the bag and then quickly lean over and he like buckles the bag over and he's like, whew, and then just well, checks that was his fun. And he looks at you, and then you just see like Andromeda shake her head, and then <laughs> Kiel just puffs on his pipe, staring at everyone. And uh, he walks up to you, Bang. This is kind of walks up to you, like Crumbar. He taps on your your thigh with his flute, Crumbar, and he like motions for you to like lower her down so he can speak to her. I just kind of. So does this happen often for you guys? Uh, Kitty, do me a favour, roll uh, acrobatics. <laughs> you just got to drop her? Yeah, so um, I, I like this idea that, um, like, so I've kind of, I've caught her to, like, you know, oh, that kind of, yeah, so I've, I've, I've caught her in both arms, so she's kind of lying, like, across the way, and as I just kind of, like, drop one arm, she just kind of, like, ye like, Pushes herself off and does a wee twirl and lands and looks awesome. <laughs> Superhero landing. <laughs> yeah. So will we just let Scott play both your characters now? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was no, interesting. <laughs> no. It's better than me just going. I cool, put her down. So yeah, just so many things. After he taps your thigh, um, he looks at you and he like does his thing with the fingers. If please come closer. Yes. And like you lean into him and take it. Yeah. <laughs> so he whispers something to you. Right? So he kinda of leans in, whispers, and he says You may want to seek help from a witch in three days if you get itchy. 
<laughs> and he just looks at you with like so he it just looks <laughs> so he looks you straight in the eye and like one of them just like, seems to go really big as if he's like portion blood into it they're like you know type stress like you know like if an anime character was trying to like suss you out um and then he just starts playing his flute again and goes back to sitting down he's buckled up his bag as well <laughs> well mm. okay then yeah um i'll so, just say like what the hell is in your bag and then he start he kind of like stops playing his flute and looks up and he looks over his shoulder like at the bag it's like sat like lying down with the buckles done and he looks back and he goes I don't know I've not looked through the whole thing yet <coughs> and he starts playing his flute again <laughs> the um the dwarf likes to grunts really obviously as if I'm about to speak and he puffs his pipe and starts like just tapping out the ashes from the pipe onto the the kind of grounds near you where you are all sitting and he says are you on special orders from the golden citadel I thought all paladins were recalled there recently and he just slowly starts putting more like whatever the hell it is tobacco into the end of his pipe I would just say to him it's um We are helping with the recall, trying to find um, allies that will assist us. And then uh, Andromeda just smiles to herself, and then Kiel says, So you're not to return to the Citadel? And he just raises like an eyebrow, a big bush eyebrow. Not yet. And he slowly starts puffing on his uh, pipe, which he's lit with some kind of magic that was too quick for you to notice because it's just already lit. And he starts puffing away, kind of just staring, as if trying to suss you out. Mm-hmm. I would just stare him down. Yeah, and I think there's maybe just that moment. And then <laughs> if that goes on for like... A couple of seconds. Is anyone else jumping in to like stop that awkwardness, or is it left for them to just stare at each other? Uh, and he kind of like it kind of turns to you, and he says, "Sleep in there. That will be bad for your lungs." And he like motions to the the fiery kind of column. Don't see us doing much sleep, to be honest here. But aye, that'd that be for the do. best. He kind of looks at you, and he says, You really should travel with us back to the Citadel. They need all the paladins. We'll catch you up. It's okay. I don't think it's wise giving uh, Eric's kind of attitude towards towards them just now. Who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, no, I'm just saying in general. Uh, we need to telegraph that more. Um, so the the dwarf says, "So these aren't part of the rescue, then." The rescue of what? Of who? The high commander. <laughs> I know Ryan's gonna slap me. High commander being Gil. The guy who wasn't there. Gil, he yeah. yeah. Hmm. Don't know who Richard's talking about, but yeah, Gil is who I'm talking about. Yeah. Gil. Okay. Yeah, the high commander. Yeah, of the Golden Order. The guy who turned into a dragon. Yeah, I thought. Yeah. Guy that wasn't there when we went back, but no. no, no. What guy was that? Sorry. What scene? I can't remember. Uh, when we went back to the. Was it Glitterhagen? Uh, to the oh, Slelbus. Yeah. So he's just a commander. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. He's a low, normal commander. Yeah. So he's in charge of the, the Order Hall of Glitterhagen. There'd be one in Horizon. There'd be one in uh, all the other cities. Right? Like, right. 
they all have like a, a commander, and the high commander's in charge of all of them. That was cool. Right. Zedrek Where is the is... acting high commander. Yeah. Zedrek! Where does Gil? He kind of like raises the and goes, High Commander Gil was lost in the expedition to the Abyss. We are going to recover him and what remains of the paladins that went with him. So you these, went to the Abyss then? These are the orders of the acting High Commander. So you went to the Abyss then? And he leans back a bit and he's like, Paladins would know this. We've been to the bus. Well, he was with Gil. <laughs> I think yeah. all three of them look at Eric in like unison. Yeah. You guys were part of the expedition? Was. Yeah. yeah. And then there's just like a moment of silence. And then a. Uh, I think there's like a hiccup from Bang. And then. Andromeda speaks up and he goes And you left him there? Yeah, the on his orders Yes And then you see like a scoff from uh, the dwarf And uh, he says I'm glad you aren't watching my back If you order us to leave it, we'll leave it <laughs> So if I order you to come to the Citadel, will you? We are under other orders, so we need to stay here. That's convenient. Not he just starts like puffing his pipe away. <laughs> yeah, I know it's not convenient. I know what your orders are. <laughs> <laughs> and then Andromeda oh, looks. Actually. Sorry, like Andromeda looks over. Uh, I'm trying to think who it was that said it. I think it was Eric that said it earlier. Um, it was because it was Eric to Arya, and uh, or Crumbar, sorry to Arya. Um, mm -hmm. You mentioned Justoria, the princess. That has nothing to do with you. She just smiles at you and then she like looks over at Arya and she says Can you tell me more about your affiliation with the princess? You are a very connected group of people. Just Lord's work. He's got a trade deal. That's all. Was well, she talking to Arya at the moment? But yeah. <laughs> right. We're all in a group. Yeah, but on. let's put it this way: I'm being a bit petty, and because she didn't really mm -hmm. respond <laughs> to my question earlier, I'm kind of looking. Yeah, at you her can. Well, you can give her the cold shoulder if you want. Yeah. Get her fucking tail. Oh yeah. You sound dead far away, Arya. Yeah. Sorry, I lifted my microphone to my ear for some reason. I don't know why. It should be better now. <laughs> it is better now, yeah. I um, wish this wasn't video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. But then we could have pointed that out, I guess, if it was video. No. Yeah, the three of them look a bit like uneasy now. With that, like they've all kind of like slowed what they're doing. They're like, okay. I don't think we're quite welcome here, so we're gonna carry on our journey. It was interesting. And she stands up and she goes over to her knights. And then um, Bang stands up and he picks up his backpack and then just claps his hands and the entire picnic vanishes. Anything you were holding in your hands as well vanishes too. So whatever you haven't eaten yet is gone. Um, I nod my head at him, kind of like, you know, neat trick sort yeah. of thing. He winks at you and then a. Uh, Scurries after Andromeda, and then uh... yeah, too bad. I would have liked them. <laughs> um, so yeah, as I say, he winks at you, smirks, and then like runs off after her. And then uh, Kiel stands up eventually, taps out the tobacco in the ground, tucks it away, picks up his weapon, and then just slowly like takes like one step away from the group, and then says, "If you can find any support for the Citadel." It needs it. And he just like nods to you and Crumbar. And then uh, we so will. And then he says, just like, oh, sorry, go ahead if you're going to say anything. I was going to say, it's like, we will ha we will make our own way there. It's, um, but we will not be far behind. No, we'll be ahead. 
Mm-hmm. Kind of like, I'm a term, motherfucker. He nods to like the group in general, but mostly it's to the paladins. And he um, says, safe travels. And then again, as, as, as for you. And uh, he walks after the others. And then they also just like start to leave the area. Um, they go south, the trio go south, but the rest of them go north. So they split off. The rest go north? Yeah, so the what? knight that was with Andromeda and the yeah. other lesser knights, we'll call them, are all like the REM, the Royal Army. They all head off north and yeah. the trio go south, as they said. But they were all going south. No. Okay. Nope, she actually did state that they were going different places. The um, She said the army were going to the the capital. Guild doesn't need that much help after all. <laughs> okay. uh, it's more just a case of, I don't think the Wizard King gives a fuck about Guild, so... It's his army. So... Uh, yeah, might <laughs> be a good idea to have your bird just check there good distance away before we attempt anything. Have their bird go poop on them. Yes, please. <laughs> Could you put your mic up again? Yeah, get out your ear. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so like, I think enough, maybe you like, just kind of stand and watch them, or maybe you start to set up a camp of your own now that the picnic's gone. Um, as they like head <laughs> off. <laughs> but yeah, so they like they're probably beyond sight by now, by this point. So he's well alone. What'd you do? Arya, I think now it's time yeah. to use your bracelet of. Yep, summoning Justoria. So you wanna. Yeah. This is where it just goes to voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, the princess is in another castle. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine oh, if I hate you and love you at the same time. <laughs> yeah, imagine she was the one. That'd be horrible. Um, mm. But I don't like. It's not like he's gonna break it and just like rip her from where she is, right? It's not a pokeball. <laughs> yeah, she still gets a chance to, you yeah. know, choose what she wants. Yeah. So, you just wait till those are away. Like, obviously, like you can wait however narratively long you want. I don't really mind. But they go out of sight at this point. Um, the Norths and the Souths, and then, yeah. So you are alone. Are you setting up camp, or are you just waiting till they leave and then summoning her? Uh, to be honest, we just started setting up camp at least anyway to make it look good. So may as well finish that. So yeah, you could have done that while they were leaving anyway. She's a princess. Whatever we do, it's not going to look good. Like I just it's meant a you guys. steaming pile <laughs> of stuff. I guess. No. On that note, though, like, how does the conversation come up then? So you've all like you've got camp set up. You've all kind of been fed anyway, right? So you've are, you are had enough to eat to have counted as a ration. So you're all good on that front. Before I bang, tidied the table up. So how does that conversation come around? Who brings First it up? Guess. Oh, Eric, I presume your armor's not cha- hammer is not charged at the moment. It is. It is cool. Good. We're all organized then. So I guess whenever we're ready, we can summon a uh, Justoria. I'm impressed you still had enough to charge it. Uh, no, we um, double charged it before. Like I, oh wait, yeah, good point. You probably charged actually. Yeah, because you teleported Ooh. here. Yeah, then you cast a lot of spells and used a lot of sorcery points. I must uh, not have taken it off then, so it's not charged. Think you're gonna need a nap, bro? Yeah, yeah. Talks a bit. <laughs> louder mm. than your actual kind of, uh, walk. Right, okay. Yup. So yeah, the hammer ain't charged. Because remember, you haven't had a moment till now. So you teleported here and into a battle. Bang bang. Yup. <laughs> kill, 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 bang, bang, bang. Let's try to think. Well, who's the other one? Kill. Aye. Bang, bang, kill. Yeah. Okay, you never know, just what may have enough to help with that, but we'll see. Yeah, uh, so like, oh, oh. yeah, like, how does that come out? So I think you spoke to Arya and say, I think it's time. You yeah, said? yeah, I think it's time, but yeah. And Arya, do you just, do you respond or do you just like discuss it or do you just use the bracelet? 
Yeah, I'd, I'd be like... Actually, though, first it, of all, I did say earlier on, and we would still like you to do it, maybe just check that well out of distance. If you, can you summon your bird yeah. to be about? Yeah, I could probably send Ruya to see... You oh, know, I could use mine. Make I sure we're alone. Guys. Actually, maybe both Ooh. different directions. South and north. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we can do both at the same time, I guess. Yeah. 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 Nah, remember, speaking. you can see through yours up to 100 feet away, remember? Mm -hmm. And then you would just have to like rely on it coming back and telling you stuff. Yeah. Which is fine, because it can. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, do you both want to do... Yes. I, I mean, I guess just a perception check? Yeah. And then, okay. can I ask, before you do this, where are you sending your birds? In the direction that they went. There are two directions. We could each send one bird in one direction just to make sure they're, they're uh, going the direction they said they would. Because the Royal Army, minus the commander, went north, heading towards the capital. And the Crusader Knight, being the commander of the Royal Army, and the commander general of the Dwarf Army, and a random gnome, went south. I miss the gnome. The gnome's great, isn't he? <laughs> I want the more adventures in the bag. I mean, you literally could have went with them. You chose not to uh, like travel with them. Because there's a giant flaming ass hole in the ground. That needs sorted before I go chasing <laughs> off to an be adventure fair, with a gnome. There are many of them, including probably the you journey they're taking back. You have a way with back. words, Scott. I love you. <laughs> what? Sorry? Uh, I don't know who you said what sorry to, so... Uh, Adrian? I said you have a way with words. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> so, Royal Army heading back to the capital up north or south with the trio? I'll go after the head honcho. Okay. So the trio? Sounds like... Yeah. Yeah, so make sure it's your bird that's rolling the uh, the perception. Oh obviously. yeah. Yeah. See, I was about to do the wrong thing. And obviously, you're going after the army at the north. I take it, are you? Oh yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. How long are you asking them to follow for? Just to see where it is they're even going. Yeah, kind of like just double checking so they are indeed heading north and not just sitting. Like just until hiding they behind that hill. <laughs> Ish, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's not what I want. I don't want passive perception. I want perception. Yeah, it should be listed um, on their NPC sheets as it should be under their skills. It should say perception. It should be on both of them. Yes, yeah, somehow I only saw the passive cool. perception and I just couldn't see the text right above it. Oh, okay, good. I was on the wrong thing. I forgot we made a second. Yeah, Alico 2, Electric Boogaloo. Well, see, that one, it's all just writing. It's not got anything to actually... Yeah, we made a new one because one of them didn't work for some reason. It should be a red NPC sheet, not a character sheet. Yeah, but it's it doesn't have perception on it. It's got keen sight, but I don't have a perception thing to check. That's a click. Let me have a look, because you should... Where are we? Where is the companions? Uh, Aliquot 2, Electric Boogaloo, character sheet. I can literally see the word perception with a plus 4 next to it. Where? Oh, yeah, it says, pl oh, it actually lets me, okay, I was like, yep. look. Yeah, Click I that. had the same mission. <laughs> Doesn't really give you any hint at all that it's clickable. Also, weirdly it's not set to advantage, because remember your keen sight, so just click that button again. Oh. Well, cool. So you got a 13 following the trio, and you got a 24 following the army. Um, yeah, well, your order. Which is funny because, you know, it's much easier to spot an army than three people. I mean, to be so honest, the I army wasn't much more 13. than three people at this point. Like, the army was. She would have like, needed the. What, five or six? Yeah, people. I guess. <laughs> yeah. However, you told your birds to keep an eye on them and make sure they're going that way so the birds don't return for a while. <laughs> it's fine. 
they'll eventually come back, but they don't come back for a bit. It's fine. We're likely still going to be here for a while. So. Yeah, so like on that note, like so you send your birds off to go like, you know, which is probably a really cool shot of both of you, like you summoning your bird and you like calling Ruga down from probably circling above out of the battle. And yeah. Then... Or maybe it was perched on a, on a thing somewhere, you know. Well, the shot of it would have been you all falling yeah. through the red portal from the sky, every day but Eric landing it, and then Ruya oh, yeah. flying in, like swooping <laughs> under the portal lid, and then uh, the portal closing. Yeah. Uh, no, but I mean, like, sky. after the portal closed and everything, it probably wouldn't have been, like, in flight the entire time. She probably could have, like, landed on a tree or a rock yeah. or something. Somewhere at a safe distance, totally. Waiting uh, to be called into battle. So, yeah, you just go off, like, to like the directions they went, send your birds those ways, and then they fly off, yeah. and then, yeah, you are alone again. It's just the kind of noise of the fire, I guess, in the background. Oh, crackle, crackle. Yeah, that one. No, that's me and you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll we'll get to that once this portal's dealt with. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Okay, so um. Given that, I think what will happen is we're gonna um, we're gonna use the bracelet to summon her, right? Yeah, let's do that. What do I need to do except say that I've used the bracelet? I uh, do you remember how she told you to use it. I think it was to break it, but yeah. do I need to no, like that was put spot on. Yeah. No, you don't need to that do anything. it's broken. Uh, okay, I'm just saying that I'm breaking it. I don't need to like I don't know roll a st strength check or whatever. No, no, no. It's <laughs> it is no just like, a, like home. Cool. <laughs> it is pretty much the, it's no place like home. Um, yeah, I guess. So, you break it, yeah. Yes. Cool. You can change it the description of it if you want to like broken. It probably does make sense because yeah. it was a one and done. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so like you snap it off your wrist, some of the trinkets that were on it just like scatter onto the like the ground yeah. and stuff. Um, you're kind of holding the, a bit of a broken chain and uh, some of the trinkets that are still on it, and uh, yeah, there is a very kind of a loud kind of almost. I'd best describe it. Like a reverberation sort of thing? No, it's like a sound off in the distance that you hear really mm. audibly. Like a clank sure. of glass is the best way to describe it. Clanking glass. And one strong, solid note that, like, wah, over the horizon. And uh, you just feel that wave hit you. Um, anyone that knows their directions, which probably isn't Eric, uh, knows that came from... <laughs> now that you just kind of roughly know where you are, it came from Horizon. And then there sure. is a rainbow that arcs over the sky oh. and hits uh, the area where you are. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to look for that pot of gold. <laughs> well, that then... was very inconspicuous. <laughs> I, I just love to think of this as the way that homosexuals tra travel now. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rainbow hits. Um, can, it, do, so do I, guys, do the I rainbow have time hits. To say the beacon is guys, lit. The rainbow hits. Yep, let's keep it going. Rainbow hits. Blast you all back. So anyone that wants to try and roll some kind of strength or deck save, you can try that to not fall over. Just a deck save, like strength or dex, yeah. Holy shit, how bad is it? Crap. <laughs> We're all in our asses. There it is. Okay. Yes! So, Except Kitty! <laughs> so, what happens is this, like, beam of glory smacks the ground. Uh, it looks a bit like the Bifrost from a uh, Thor. Blows over their way. Kitty stands there looking damn windswept. And um, still, you know does take a bit of like digging your feet in a little bit um but maybe just like angle yourself so that it doesn't really hit most of you and then from all the colors is just Storia standing in the middle just kind of smiling her eyes kind of glowing like and then fading 
as the kind of rainbow around her like disappears and then she just says it is so nice to see you all again and she just smiles with her big grin and then we end the I session nod my head there at her. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I just know that. Yeah. Well, it's a good place to end it, right? Because it means we can pick up from there um, next time. And then everybody can roll initiative, right? So, yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Roll initiative. What would you just like to call uh, the I session first? Myself in his head there. <laughs> Imagine. Fabulous Bifrost. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll add it to the I've list. I've got that cat in the bag. Fabulous. Oh my god. Uh, Frost, that's good. Uh, my Frost, um, the cats out of the bag is good as well. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> totally. <laughs> Any other suggestions there. you have? <laughs> so many. <laughs> I feel like that's winning so far unless Cindy has got a... I think it is as well. Yeah. Yeah. I also spelled by Frost wrong, but okay. That's fine. Uh, Eric, any other suggestions? Frost. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> wow, <laughs> investment. <laughs> Not a great title, but okay. Uh, right, I guess we'll move on to goals. I guess we'll skip Eric. Uh, are <laughs> you? Still working on it? Mm -hmm. Shit, yep. Crumbar, still working on that as well. Start, yeah, very yep. much so. And... Kitty. Well, I guess we'll maybe find out next episode. Yeah, like, I mean, you could definitely discuss Ask. that. Yeah, because, I mean, you don't want to have to go through a bunch of bracelets, right? Each time. Yeah. So, and obviously she travels so subtly. Um, oh, yeah, it's, it's super subtle. Like, she just, just appeared. That giant she clang. Was, she, she was trying to do it. See, See I'm, well. I'm wondering <laughs> if that's going to have uh, triggered a response from the folk that were walking away. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking as well. It's like, though, are they not gonna like run straight back here? And they uh, reach. I think I might have done it. You know, there's a. I know he's alive. Right? Like so. Well, keep in mind, yours is to get word to the Great Gold Worm. You gave Slowbass pretty much that goal. Um, See, I think it's been done yeah. because why else would they now just be mounting the next position to go get him? Right, but then you have already told Zedrek about this, so it seems yeah, to be true. her. Doesn't make, so you actually still don't know if the gold worm's involved or not, because why wouldn't he just be like, alright, cool, there's my son back. Right? Zedrek are reasons. I mean, maybe if he's went to the Citadel you should learn more. Yeah. But we'll find out. It depends what you do next after this next Justoria moment. I like Justoria, so... Me too. Nice. I'm a big fan of her, but mostly because of the actress I cast, because who doesn't love Shori Agdashloo? Um, I still need to start watching the Expanse. You do, yeah. I, I think that's all the goals discussed, unless Eric does have anything else to input about work out who the canna is or was. Nah. <laughs> I, I figured you were good. I, as for that, I've got XP to hand out for folks. Uh, let me go tell oh, you what you have. Two seconds to find. Oh, yeah! Yeah. Uh, where is this? Give me a second to find my maths sheet that has all of it on it. Where are you? Would you believe that I have lost the sheet? Give me two seconds, guys. Talk amongst yourselves. And... And it's a Draco. Not quite. Not quite. There it I is. I mean, there it is. Okay. Right. So. Everything gets 1,100 each from that fight. 1,100? Like one, yep. That? Yep. 1,100. Everybody adds. So, in total, 1, 2, 3, 5, oh. Yeah. Yes. One, two, three, five, zero. Thanks. When's the next level up? Fourteen hundred. Fourteen thousand, sorry. Whoop, whoop. So close. Mm -hmm. No, no, nice. oh, like, that's really close. I think you get is it two fifty you get for a goal as well, so a couple of goals as well. And maybe another Teach fight. me that already. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're so close to that. Um 
Right, that's XP done. That is everyday. They've updated their XP totals, yeah? Yep. yep. Good, good, good. We will deal with that in a minute. We'll do our wrap-up chat. So, Eric, do you want to start us off? Uh, hello. Cool. Brilliant. <laughs> He's a man of yep. many words. Are you? <laughs> You know, I was tempted to be even briefer, right? <laughs> no, um, I really enjoyed this. Mm -hmm. It was a case of like, um, I, I don't know which one I like more. The the funny gnome dude mm -hmm. that uh, seemed to bond very well with <laughs> us and I kind of wanted to keep mm -hmm. in our group. Kind of like wanted to see if there's anything that we can say to get him to like, you know, get get away from, from, from Mrs. Oh, the Crusader Knight, yeah. And uh, and her very rushed <laughs> companion and uh, come hang out with us, but I knew that was not going to happen. And also, I'm so happy that we're so close to leveling up. <laughs> but I have to say, I, th I chose that goal thinking is going to be an easy one that I'm going to achieve quickly. And <clears throat> yeah. It's just, it's a matter of the roles as well, though, isn't it, for that one? Because mm. trying to learn... A language from scratch, one that isn't in, like isn't native to not demons, right? <laughs> Spoiler alert, everyone. And um, yeah, it's a tricky one. The fact that Crumbar can sp can speak it is quite special, to be honest. What are you? Um, yeah, also that, <laughs> but yeah, special. And um, imparting it is tricky, but it is worth a goal, and you're so close to it, like. Next time you camp, if you spend time in doing it and the roll goes your way, you've probably done it, which is nice. Yeah, I just find the music, like I said, I, I totally thought that everybody's goals were like a bit longer term mm. than mine, and then mine ended up being quite long term as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's been good though, it's been nice to but see yeah. that you and Crumbar bond as well over something. Yeah, I'm too. loving that, yeah, that's the thing. But yeah, I had tons of fun. Good. Uh, Crumbar? Uh, yeah, I like that we had a nice balance of kind of fighty, fighty combat and, you know, RP stuff after. Well, it's mostly wrapping up the last combat, wasn't it? Because that, yeah, that took a whole yeah, session. Yeah. That was a big fight. It's, it's, yeah, oh, it was that. But, you know, it's still nice to kind of manage to get the mix of the both of them. Mm -hmm. um, and because I think it's that kind of way, if you have like an entire session is just combat, it can get a bit tedious. And same yeah. with if it's an entire... RP session, it can get a bit tedious as well, so it's nice to have the mix and match. Also, Gnome is just legend. <laughs> I, I, I feel like he is my long lost brother. <laughs> yeah. Bang. He is a... He's awesome. I do like him. Uh, Kitty? Well, I was expecting a bit more of an adventure being dragged into the bag. <laughs> but maybe next time I should just take the... Uh... The save and, and <laughs> yeah. not get pulled into a bag. <laughs> it's, but like, what I like though is you picked the more interesting choice, really, right? Yeah. Because so many people will roll a save and get an option like that and choose the safe option. Very few people choose the dangerous option, but it's always nice when sometimes people do that just for a change, because then <laughs> you get random things whispered to you, like. If you get itchy in a couple of days, maybe just find a witch. What does I kind of felt like I could have <laughs> had the power to like itch my hand and then be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like the thing is though as well is it o it still opens us up to other things because I want to go find him again and go exploring in this bag of his that he's not finished exploring. <laughs> he's not even finished exploring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you know, what? maybe we can help him out and get some meaty ass loot from it, or you know, just. Find Bag an elder adventure. god or something, yeah. I, oh my yeah. god, this is a release the kraken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I like that. It's um, I'm, I'm glad you liked at least one of the trio. I guess that's nice. Um, yeah. uh, reach. No, oh, was cool. I've got that. <laughs> that. Yeah, and you didn't know. die. No, didn't. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> It was I me like, for once. <laughs> like the part we... door, do we? But, yeah, you were close. Yeah. You were close. Did well. You got some good hits as well. You yeah. started strong and then I pointed it out and it never happened again. So, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's just what happens. It's just the dice rolls are crazy. Um, 
but no, I think it was a good session. It was fun. It'd be interesting to see, I guess, where it goes from after the, the I guess, the start of the next one, right? Because I think we can tell that you will attempt to, I guess, close this hellhole with Justoria's help. Mm-hmm. And then, like, what he's even going to do after that, right? Because I guess that's the next thing you all need to kind of think about. What's what's next for the group? I guess we're going back to the abyss by the sounds of it. Are you, though? Because, I mean... Those aren't actually your orders, right? I mean, depends on what Justoria has to say. I mean, mostly it was, hello, it's nice to see you all again. Yeah, but I mean... <laughs> the last orders or, or... we had was to go north and help the villages, which we've done. So we technically, actually, we don't have any orders at the moment, do we? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Unless you count, you know, Zedrek is saying, help the Citadel in general um, by going out and getting all the things you possibly can. And then also Celeste being like, where's my spear at, yo? Yeah, well, uh, we had your spear at, yo, and it never <laughs> showed up. So, yeah, we traded it off for our lives, basically. <laughs> Which was yeah. fair. <laughs> but to be honest, I do kind of really want to go and get, do something to get um, the Black Fang spear back. And plus, if we get Eric's family back in the process, I guess that's a good thing. It's almost Maybe. like you had an escort to the capital if you asked the army, or an escort to the citadel. Yeah, if you but asked. I don't. We don't need an escort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's that kind of way. Like I don't want to. I don't want to break off and like a story chain before it's. Yeah, finished, no, definitely, so. and that, that, that's the point. Like I'm having things happen in the world for you guys anyway, so if you guys don't want to, like, say you've ignored the stuff up north with the orcs and you went down south to try and deal with the hellhole problem, right? That would still have developed, but who knows what the outcome would have been at that point, right? Reach um, might be right. That may have, like, or may still have tied in with a hellhole up there. And we would not have ended up being absolutely stacked with money. Or dropping <laughs> Eric's house up there. Or <laughs> that. <laughs> you know, like, we don't know. This is just how the kind of slightly more sandboxy type game works, where things happen and if you just don't get to them in time, things happen and you don't have control specifically over that thing. Um, End of the day, it was quite fun. Good. I'm pleased. <laughs> uh, thanks, everybody, for playing. We'll stop here. Uh, goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.